Welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Savannah, and if you've watched my How I Got Into Yoga video, um, you'll know that I was a pretty depressed person before um, I started implementing more yoga practices into my life. So this is for the days where maybe you're not diagnosed with, with depression, but this is just a time where you feel really blah, you don't really want to do anything, and the most that you might do today is this video, and that could be completely enough, and that's totally enough. So you can give yourself a little check mark of you did something awesome today by doing this video with me. We're gonna start standing just because when we feel really bleh, what do we wanna do? We wanna lay down. So we're just gonna reverse that energy real quick and start to move our state in the opposite direction. So we'll start with a little breath and all of the movements that we do will be surrounded around breath. You might notice when you're feeling more down, the breath is pretty shallow. So we'll get a little energy in with the inhale and do a little balancing to start so that the system wakes up. We'll go ahead and begin with the hands resting down at our hips. And as you breathe in, let the arms just raise up to about shoulder level. So you might feel the ribs expand side to side. And as you exhale, you'll wanna feel the ribs contract back towards each other as the hands rest down. So we'll add on a little more. As you breathe in and the arms come out to a T, we're gonna let the right arm go all the way up by the ear. And exhale, both hands come back down by your hips. Takes a little brain power to think about this. So we'll continue. Breathing in, arms come out to a T. Left arm goes all the way up by the ear. And exhale, the hands come down. And of course, naturally, we'll add more. So as you breathe in, the heels lift up, the arms come out to a T, and the right arm goes all the way. And as you exhale, arms come back down at the same time, maybe, that the heels come down. And then breathing in, heels lift up, arms come out wide, left arm goes all the way as you keep breathing in, ribs expand wide. And exhale, hands come back down, might get a little wobbly on the way down. So I'm gonna rely on you following the length of your own breath. One arm goes all the way. The heels lift as you breathe in. And then it's a complete exhale as the hands come down and the heels come down. Maybe you take a point of focus to one point on a wall to help your balance. We'll take two more rounds, alternating each arm that goes all the way. Heels lift as you breathe in, ribs expand wide. Exhale down. Another side. Exhale, hands relax down, heels relax down. And we're gonna bring the hands forward and up now. Let the heels lift up as you breathe in. And on the exhale, lower the heels, bend the knees and we'll reach the hands back. So we'll go into some more dynamic movement. As you start breathing in, come up tall, feel the ribs expand, maybe the arms come out wide. Exhale, heels lower, sink the weight back towards your heels and reach the hands behind you, coming into a chair, like a hinge in the hips. We'll take that one more round. Exhale, sink back. So we're gonna keep the hands reaching back. Find that place in your body where you feel balanced. So not too much weight going back to the heels where the front of the toes feel like they're gonna lift up and not too much weight coming towards the toe so that the knees drive heavily forward. We'll reach the hands forward on your next inhale. And this time, just one arm goes back. Let's say it's the left arm. So as the left arm goes behind you, let the palm face in the same direction as your chest, and we'll take the gaze back towards the left hand. And breathe in, bring the left hand forward. We're gonna keep breathing in, lift up the heels, straighten the legs, and exhale, heels come down. Bend the knees, sink the weight back towards the heels, right arm goes back. Remember the palm is facing in the same direction as the chest and we'll take the gaze back there with us. You might already start to feel the energy amping up. Breathe in. We don't have to move fast to get the energy up in our bodies, especially if you start to feel 
like your depression is accompanied by anxiety, which most depressions are. We don't want to go so fast that we amp up our anxiety too. That's never fun. All right, we'll finish that. Reach up the arms, lift up through the heels. And as you exhale, bring both hands towards the heart, close the eyes and rest the heels down on the floor. I want you to just connect with your heartbeat for a moment here. Notice that sense of aliveness within yourself. And use the breath to integrate your full presence into your body. Following the breath down to a low point in the ribs as you breathe in. And exhaling fully as you breathe out. We'll rest the arms down by the hips and bring ourselves into a warrior pose. We'll step the right foot at the top of the mat. The feet are like uh, you're standing on train tracks, so they'll go a little bit wider. That'll help your balance and open up your hips a little more. We'll keep the hands at the heart, and when you breathe in, we'll take a bend in the front knee and reach the hands down towards the ground. As you exhale, draw the hands back towards the heart and straighten the front leg. Each time you breathe in, the arms will lift just a little bit higher. Exhale, back to the heart. Breathing in as the ribs expand, the arms expand out to the sides, the front knee bends. Exhale to expel all of that breath out. And we'll take one more breath in. This time the arms might come up towards a T position if they're not already up to that height. And we'll take the thumbs that are pointing up towards the ceiling and point them to the wall behind us. The palms face up and it's almost like you're trying to show me your armpits. As you breathe in, can you feel the ribs are expanding? And as you exhale, low belly gently hugs in. Next breath out, bring the hands together. And let the thumbs rest on the chest. And we'll step that back foot forward just to do a little switcheroo. So left foot at the top. Right foot goes back. Give yourself some width in your stance and we'll start breathing and moving right away. Arms reach down as the front knee bends. Breathe in. Exhale from the low belly, that breath moves up and out. We'll bring the hands back towards the heart as the front leg straightens. Maybe you close the eyes, finding that sense of aliveness within you, that breath that continues to move the body. Sometimes you feel a little stagnant and the best thing we can do is move. Even if it's the last thing we wanna do. And then your next inhale, if the arms aren't already up to a T position, you'll let it come there. Turn the thumbs behind you so the palms are flipping up. You don't have to worry about keeping the arms straight. You might actually bend the elbows so you can get that scooping under and shining forward. Let the chin separate from the chest. Full breaths in and full breaths out, my friends. Exhale, hands come back together. You can draw the thumbs towards the center of the chest. We'll step the feet, both of them up to the top of the mat. We'll leave them wide and we'll slide the hands down towards the ankles. As you're sliding at the ankles, let the hinge, the bend happen at the knees. I always like to give the cue of like you have flashlights coming out of your butt cheeks. Everyone seems to get that one. And then as you're hinging, try to hide your fingertips in the front of the hips. We'll slide the hands all the way down towards the shin, so we're actually pressing the elbows into our shins. We'll take a breath in and reach the chest forward. 
As you exhale, let the back round and start to straighten the legs just a little bit as you release the weight of the head down. As you breathe in, flashlights come out of your butt, hinge at the hips, let the chest come forward. Exhale, hug in and up as the legs start to straighten. And we'll take that one more round together. And then we'll plant the hands down on the mat. We can step the feet back. We'll come to our hands and knees. Make sure the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. This is really important so that we don't overstress the shoulders. And as you breathe in, we'll draw the left fingertips towards the inner left shoulder. And as you're pulling the fingertips up towards the shoulder, that's where you might start to lean back. Keep it stacked and point the left elbow up. This will feel really good. And then as you exhale, release the left hand down. So we'll go from side to side. Inhale, right elbow lifts up. Turn the chest towards the right. And exhale, right hand comes down. Try to keep it fluid so you don't stop breathing, you don't stop moving. And there might be an urge to just power through this, but see if you can keep the movement aligned with the length of the breath. And we'll take one more round on each side. Breathing in, left fingertips draw up towards the inner left shoulder. Exhale, release it down. And then the right side. We'll release the forearms all the way down towards the mat. And instead of keeping the palms flipped down, we're gonna take the palms to face each other. The toes can be tucked behind you and the hips will be stacked over the knees. I want you to press down through the pinky sides of your hands and press down through that edge of your forearms. We're gonna keep that pressure down and draw the shoulders back. Every time you breathe in, we'll shift the shoulders forward over the elbows. And as you exhale, draw up through the low belly and pull back through the hips. We'll take one more round before we stay in that position. And as you stay in that position, drawing the hips back, watch out so you don't go too much into a sassy back. That'll release some of the stability in the low back. So you can even think about rounding, drawing back. You'll get more of a lat stretch that way. Just take one big inhale, spanning the entire cross of your back. And a long exhale, we're gonna slide back forward and come onto our bellies. So we'll send the legs behind us. You can bring one hand on top of the other as a little pillow for your forehead. And we'll let the forehead rest down on your hands. So as you're here, just feel the ribs expand up against the floor as you inhale. And as you exhale, feel the low belly hug up and away from the floor. So inhale, ribs expand towards the floor. Exhale, low belly hugs up and away from the floor. You're gonna hold that low belly hugging up and in. And on your next inhalation, let the hands slide apart. We'll lift up through the back of the head and flare the tops of the feet off of the mat. So we'll spread the toes, straighten the legs so much so that the front of the legs are engaged and the kneecaps lift up. We'll let the feet go a little bit wider than the hips as the center of the chest lifts. Then as you exhale, we'll lower about halfway and bring the inner legs towards each other again. So inhale here, spread the heels wide, toes are flaring apart, chest lifts. And exhale, release, heels together, lower down about halfway. We'll take that two more rounds. And then on this next exhale, draw the feet together. You can press yourself up and up up away from the floor, we'll come onto our low backs. And this is my um, 
favorite part. So after doing that work, engaging the back of the body and then coming back to the support of the ground beneath us, we'll open the arms out wide and just notice how open the chest might feel as you breathe in here. Feeling the ribs expand and as you exhale, those ribs fully release back down. I wanna give you a moment or so to just settle in to whatever sensation you're experiencing. This idea of paying attention to information or sensation that our body gives us is called interoception or intuition. And when we're feeling bogged down by depression, our true essence is clouded. And our access to this interoception or intuition feels non-existent. So through practices of yoga, we can clear the cloudy weather and find glimpses again of our true essence. Nothing about you needs to change. The only thing that shifts within a yoga practice is your own perception. We'll do some gentle meditative movement to emphasize our heart expanding with the breath. I'll take an inhale here. And as you exhale and the ribs deflate, go ahead and bend at the left elbow and let the left fingertips land on your chest. And as you start breathing in again, you can start to feel the ribs expanding. And the left arm will expand back out straight. As you're exhaling, right elbow bends, right fingertips land on the chest. And as you begin breathing in and the ribs expand, the right fingertips expand back out. Each time you exhale, one hand will draw towards your chest and rest there. And on the inhale, that same arm will expand back out. Reminding yourself that if all you do today is this, that's enough. Finish the round you're on and take one more. And giving yourself a little hug, you might draw the knees in towards the chest. Wrap your hands around your own self and know that in this moment you are held by your own care, your own attention. And as you're ready, we'll come back up towards a seat. And I want you to just take a moment, notice how you feel. You don't have to feel like a different person, but hopefully you feel more present and aware of what's happening in your system. And I know how easy it is to just want to escape 
when you feel depressed. But the most important thing that you can start to do is learn how to integrate what you're feeling, what's going on, and what you can actually do about it. And if you're interested in a little bit more personal guidance or wondering about how I got to where I am, you can connect with me on Instagram. My name is Savanasana, and I would love, love, love to hear from you. I promise I will never be too cool to answer your messages. Namaste.